long before butterflies are making their way to gardens around the country and yards around the country, wouldn't it be lovely to plant some plants that will attract butterflies? This is from Cottage Farms, our four-piece Monarch Essential Butterfly Live Plant Collection. And in addition to the bold and dramatic color, you're also going to be attracting those beautiful and elegant and graceful butterflies. This is three easy payments on your credit card of just $10.99. The shipping and handling is free. The growing guide is also included here. This is something that is beautiful. Let's bring Alan back in, our horticulturist, who is able to talk to us more about these beautiful butterfly plants, how they're going to uh, do best, whether it be in containers or in the ground, and what we're going to be shipping our customer. Alan, it's good to have you with us, sir. Thank you. Um, so this, this is an excellent plant. So this plant is actually a perennial. So you plant it one year and it comes back year after year, getting better every year. So, you know, you put your effort into the first year and then the plant pretty much takes care of itself for years after that. Now, this is a great plant for monarch butterflies. It actually helps them in two different ways. The adult monarchs like to feed on the flowers themselves. So the flowers produce nectar for the monarch butterflies. And then the leaves of this plant are the only food that the monarch butterfly caterpillar can eat. The only only one, this plant and other plants in the Asclepius family. So without this plant, the monarchs don't have a food source. They can't produce babies and more butterflies. So planting this plant in your garden will help the monarch butterfly immensely. I mean, they already have a tough life. They need to migrate from the south of Mexico up to the east coast of the United States, and then they migrate back while they're having babies, and they need to find food on their way because they can't even pack their lunch. So by having these in the garden, you're helping the adults, and you're helping the monarch butterfly caterpillars. Now, this plant that I have in front of me, how mature is that? How many years of growth would, would you say this is? That's about a two-year-old plant. So at mature height, they're about a, a foot to two feet tall. So we will see flowers this year. summer. We will see if it's flowers will, this summer? Correct. You will see flowers this summer. And they're always going to be this vibrant kind of burnt orange color, right? Burnt orange, yellow color. It's, it's dramatic and bold. Totally. It, it just glows in the landscape. So it's a beautiful color. And the, the flowers themselves are really intricate flowers, too. So they're held in clusters. So there are a lot of little flowers in there. And each little flower has a little, you know, gift of nectar for the butterflies. So that's why the butterflies like them so much. Each flower has a lot of little restaurants where the butterfly can go and get their nectar. And this is something that is really beautiful. I love that you've got it all in containers. If I've got a, a back deck, a patio, this is going to be uh, ideal for all these container pots. Do these like full sun or do they like partial sun? They can, they thrive in full sun and they can do some partial shade. So four to six hours of sun a day would be ideal. So I, you know, ideally they like to be more in the sun. Butterflies like the sun too. So think about that. You know, mm -hmm. you see them a lot fluttering in the sun. So it's good for both of them. So many times we plant flowers and we hope that we're going to be, be visited by butterflies because they're such an elegant reminder of spring and rebirth and renewal and uh, a time that we start over again. And so to plant something in your garden that would attract these butterflies and really let them be the harbingers of spring that they are, spring and summer, this is something really elegant and beautiful. These are really delicate creatures that will feed on the plants, and also return again and again. I would imagine they'll tell their friends and bring other friends with them, right? <laughs> yeah, so your, your yard will be very popular. It'll be very popular among the butterflies if you have these. And you can feel good about yourself, too, because this is a plant that actually exists in the United States. It grows here naturally. So you're planting a plant that has lived here for thousands of years back into your garden, and you're helping the ecosystem. And it's always great to bring pollinator plants into your garden because it, it creates this whole different aspect not only do you have beautiful flowers, you also have this excitement of butterflies coming in and bees buzzing. So it's a whole different dimension when you have pollinators. It's just much more exciting. I like to plant pollinator plants where I can watch them. So by my kitchen window or near my bench where I can sit and just enjoy the show. You know, I love the flowers. I love all the activity around the flowers. The so pollinator plants are just so important and it, it's great to have them in your garden. Well, just like it's fun to plant um, flowers that hummingbirds are attracted to, it's nice to plant something that a butterfly is attracted to. This is a very delicate and very peaceful creature that comes into your yard and is going to be feeding off these, uh, these flowers and then spreading the word and bringing back other friends. And then suddenly you've got a host of butterflies that are making for a very, very special home environment for you and your family. This is the kind of thing that you and the kids can sit inside and study and watch and not disturb them, but have a ringside seat as they come to visit your home. Don't miss out on this. There is a growing guide that comes along with this, uniquely written for 
the Monarch Essential Butterfly Live Plants. All of this is written in a way that you're going to know exactly what to do with it. Now, the plants that we're going to ship don't look like a whole lot. When we get these at home, how best to work with them? <laughs> Yes, don't be frightened. They, they look like, um, like kind of like hairy carrots. So this is what we call a bare root plant. It's shipped to you. It's, it's fine. The root has all the storage material it needs to actually grow. So what you would do is the, the hairy part of the root is planted into the soil. Just dig a hole that's deep enough to, to cover the whole hairy root. And then at the top of the root, there's actually a little bit of the stem from last year. So at that stem level, you want to plant the, the plant into that level. So the, where the stem meets the root, that should be at soil level. And then give it a good drink. And then check it every few days to make sure it hasn't dried out. If it's dried out, give it another good drink. And then within the two to three weeks, you should have some sprouts on it. And then a few weeks after that, you'll have leaves and, and eventually flowers. So don't be afraid of this strange little thing you get in the mail. Well, and with the Cottage Farms guarantee, you've really got nothing to lose and only beautiful flowers to gain. And if you are a little bit nervous about this whole process, start in containers because these can be moved and they can be adjusted so easily. And then you've got something that is really beautiful. Then one container gives way to another, to another, and then maybe you'll get brave enough to start planting them in your flower beds. And then something magical starts happening. All the butterflies start, start to come to visit your property. This is M89434, another one of our Gardening Made Easy by Cottage Farms essential items, the essential butterfly live plants, free shipping and handling, and we will ship these when they're safe to plant in your area.